When we look around aeroplanes like these, it is so easy to fantasize what it must have been like around the clouds, flying above the trenches, far removed from the trouble below. But was it really like that? The BBC have interviewed many of the pilots involved, and you can hear them in their own words. Those lightweight, delicate little aeroplanes of linen and wood were slow, but they turned on a sixpence, and so the centrifugal forces were hard to bear as hard as in faster machines. With heads pressed back and eyes feeling as if they were going to fall out under the high G, the pilots would circle so close to one another that they could see across into the other cockpit. In the early days of the war, the technology was primitive. As you will hear, the early air crews just used their standard issue army equipment. Machine guns designed for air-to-air -air combat were to come much later on. We came across a German aeroplane. We immediately joined in and maneuvered around and I was using a 303 service rifle and he was using a Mauser pistol which, in the, which they made in those days with a shoulder stock so that he could use it as a rifle. And we couldn't of course shoot through the propeller in front or we'd have, we'd have broken it off. So we had to shoot sideways. We f fired a great many rounds, I fired over a hundred. And then suddenly, to my joy, intense joy, I saw the pilot fall forward on his joystick and the aeroplane tip up and go down. When pilots flew over the enemy lines, they gained a unique perspective on the human devastation of trench warfare. And those who survived the First World War and went on to high positions in the Royal Air Force during the Second World War were determined that this carnage would never be repeated. Air power was the way forward. Below us was mud, filth, smashed trenches, broken wire, broken machine gun posts, broken limbers, rubbish, wreckage of aeroplanes, bits of men. And then, in the midst of it all, when we were flying at 400 feet, I spotted a German machine gun post and went down. We dived at them, sprayed them. Whether we hit them, we didn't know. There was no time to see. We flew on rocking out of that inferno, out of the tunnel, and escaped, turned left. And I felt that never at any time had I passed through such an extraordinary experience. <laughs> 